Okay, so we have another little project on our hands today um, for the 65 Fastback. We're going to be rebuilding the power steering cylinder. We're going to be taking it, taking all the seals out, putting new ones in, and also that new boot at the end, and putting a fresh coat of paint on it. As you can see, it's pretty rusted out. Well, not rusted out, but it's sure showing its age. I'm going to go ahead and give it a new life. Then we're going to go ahead and turn it from this to this. Everything brand new, looking all nice. Alright, so we're going to start with the disassembly, just to get it cleaned up a little bit better. Um, I'm going to use the impact so it won't spin on me. Okay, so because I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> it's not just one nut, there's a locking nut in here. So if you can see, there's two nuts. <laughs> Let's go ahead and loosen the top nut, see if the bottom one comes loose. I'm going to go ahead and grab it with some pliers. <laughs> Easy as that. That was impacting both nuts at the same time. Okay, so there is one. So that's not working. So maybe I just need to examine things more before I start doing them. Because the rod has a little slit so you could slip over a socket. So the whole rod won't spin. Okay. Wow. I forget this is a ratcheting head. Well, that makes it a lot easier. bracket should slide off. Oh, well, there, go. <laughs> there goes all the pieces. Sleeve brought it. Uh, let's go ahead and take off these um these hoses. I'm gonna slap it on the vice. They're good. So much dirt and scrud built up from over the years. So that was number one. Let's fight with this one now. So now the hoses are off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off to take off the boots, see what's under there. Keep in mind, I've never done this before, so learning as we go. Alright, so finally got the boot off of there. We're gonna go ahead and give this a good clean and then start with the disassembly of the seals and all that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, get, go ahead and clean the bracket up as well. Cylinder is clean along with the bracket. I am gonna grease this up a bit more than it is just to. Just to put some new grease in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our um, seal kits. So there are there are two kits that you will need. Uh, one is the seal kit. Obviously, it comes with the seals, and one is the boot kit. Okay, so these are the seals that come in the kit. I'm not gonna open the boot kit just yet. Um, these are not in any order or anything. Just wanna lay them out. So it looks like I'm gonna get started with a snap ring first. Okay. <laughs> snap rings finally out. Um, kind of broke, broke off into little pieces, but so we're gonna continue with the disassembly. Looks like this one just spins right off. Should be able to grab it and just put it out. Uh, looks like it's a little 
a bushing around this plastic ring. I'm just gonna pry at it. I'm gonna try to stab it lightly. Yeah, these are really dry. Let's try to take it out in one piece. Nope, <laughs> right when I said it. This ring is out. Okay. It looks like there's a plastic. Okay, so just prying it, I was able to take it out. Man, I hope the rest aren't this hard to take out. Okay, so the next one looks like a rubber piece. So. Oh, Jesus. So now that we avoided death, back on track. One reason why some of them are struggling more than others is because it has a small nick in it. Just takes it out of round just a bit. Looks like we have a metal ring, which I assume it's this one. That's, oh wait, that is working. Oh man, I'm gonna ding up my table pretty bad. Kind of working. Oh, I just pushed it down. There it is. Popped right out. Alright, next. Looks like we have another rubber one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Gonna stab it with the pick and pry it out. Okay, so the camera died, so I couldn't get the last seal um, of me taking it out, but it's right here have them all in order as of how they came out so, um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the assembly putting them in the reverse order so we're starting with this one next 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 also have a little bath of ATF fluid right here just to soak in the plastic ones so another thing I got off of that um, other YouTube video um, was using a P PVC pipe to push down the um, seals in there I used a half inch um, I got it from the video off of, um, I believe it was Mustang Resto. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it in. I'm going to put it face down with the spring side down. That's a bit of a tight fit on this one. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to go ahead and push it down. And we're going to go ahead and give it some light taps with the PVC pipe. Go ahead and hit it with the rubber mallet. Okay, hope that's all the way in. Go ahead and put the next one in. This way. The next rubber seal is the same thing as the first one we put in. Probably gonna be a bit of a pain to slip this one on as well. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and push this one down with the PVC as well. So that one's seated. And go ahead and get the next seal. Which is this plastic one? Uh, looks like that one slipped right on. Last rubber. That one went on pretty easy. Now our copper sleeve or ring. Okay, as you can see, snap ring is now in place and we're done with all these seal replacements. Before we start putting the boot kit back on, we are gonna hit it with some primer and paint. Um, and grease up this ball stud just a bit. Alright, so I figured while the, um, the power steering cylinder is drying up with the paint, I'm going to show you what comes in the, in the second kit. So obviously you get your boot, your two bushings that go in between the brackets, um, and the washers, the nut, and the, um, the clamp that's going to go around this end. The kit didn't come with the um, the spacer like it's supposed to. I'm mean, reusing this one. It's the old one. It says in the kit that it does come with it, but uh, oh well. That's why you got to keep your old ones. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is you will need another boot. It comes in another kit. None of the uh, previous kits that I showed come with it. It's just um, the ball stud boot, which comes with the boot and the 
uh, zip tie thing. Okay, so the boot is now on. Just slips right on. All right, so this is now complete. Order. If you're doing this, you want to put it in this order. So the tie, the washer, bushing, the bracket, and then backwards, bushing, washer, and then your nut, and then your locking nut on top. Okay, so this is the end result. So that's it. If you have any questions, comment them. I'll try to do my best to answer them. But thank you for watching.